fashion reps. I remember the first time that I discovered this place back in late 2021. I remember being so ecstatic knowing that I'd be able to buy a pair of Concord 11s because I just love the way that they look. And I found myself becoming infatuated with the sheer amount of information about the items that were available on websites that some people might deem to be a part of the, uh, the black market. And with all of that in mind, what truly stood out to me was the sense of community that was initially found within the subreddit. I was allowed to purchase said Concord 11s and I wore them almost every day and got consistent compliments. At college, my barber, my dentist, some homeless dude that I met the escort that I lost my virginity to, and I really appreciated the help that I received in order to make sure that I got the, uh, the best pair possible. However, the notion of this place being a helpful community withered away almost immediately once we reached about uh, 800,000 members due to the influx of new users from all different walks of life. We're actually well past that now. Whether or not you believe the number of members somehow correlates with the piss poor quality of posts would really be up to you. But let's just say that checking the top posts every day will almost make you feel like that one girl from 50 first dates. Except in reality, we're just witnessing the same overused PowerPoint presentations over and over and over again. And it's crazy because the examples that I really want to show you today were posts that were made years ago because I've delayed this video many times. Yet nothing has really changed in the past two to three years so I feel like I still have a fair set of examples that could still be applicable today. Picture this, right? Your nuts hang about a foot off the ground and you really want to see some nice creative pieces like this without having to pay the overinflated price and or pay whoever bought retail first. All right, that's cool. I actually got something for you. Uh, do me a favor, close your eyes and open your mouth really quick. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you can have this instead. If I had $1 for every single post that was made here asking for something as redundant as an Essentials QC, I'd probably have enough money to buy a haul every month for an entire year. Are you ready? With the abundance of clothing options, there will be individuals who naturally stand out for their exceptional sense of style. Although, as I uh, mentioned earlier, I don't think it'd be too far off to suggest that our brand new members would have differing opinions and visions that uh, might go against the norm that was already in place before them. Now, let me be clear. I'm not trying to suggest that different types of people are inherently negative, but at the same time, when certain people invade a specific place that hosts discourse online, typically that digital space will change in its core aesthetic values and even civility. This outfit isn't something that I would personally wear, but I'd like to draw your attention towards the amount of upvotes compared to the amount of comments that this post received. Look, I'm gonna tell you something. Me, I'm gangster. I know how the internet works. If you've got your ear to the streets on internet discourse, you'll know that this means that this person got FUCKING FLAMED! Whilst examining the shit show that is the comment section, you'll even notice that a dick measuring competition occurred within a dick measuring competition. Although I do think it is fair to attribute this to Reddit as a whole because uh, everything is a competition to see whose manhood exceeds the average length. At a second glance, it appears that we can almost accurately predict the age range of users who posted the most profound verbose comments that I have ever read in my 21 years of living on this planet. These right here, like it or not, these are our future philosophers right here. This is another person who seemed to own a pair of gargantuous testicles and decided to post a photo of himself from what appears to be the inside of a department store. Except this time, there are no imaginary internet points to display. However, we do have an extensive amount of input from the community. <laughs> Oh, and of course, you can't forget, these are uh, outfits that um, resemble the attire that is commonly seen worn by a uh, hood thug individuals located in the UK. But unfortunately, these, uh, these outfits are often subject to immense ridicule as well. So how do you protect your self-esteem when you get laughed at on this platform? And why do certain people get it a lot worse than others? Whether you're seemingly normal and post clothes that prevented you from walking outside ass naked on a Tuesday, your asshole will get obliterated. However, if you act like you've been eating paint chips since you turned 9, you will get a wave of overwhelming support from people who are more than delighted to see your cock bulge out of a Versace thong. When you post... When you post this, and you get 282 upvotes, there's a problem. If you were to if you were to see this post, what would you think? I mean, what would? Well, you first think? of all, I don't want to see that shit. Nigga, <laughs> 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 fuck you. <laughs> what the fuck is this gay ass shit? Why is this nigga wearing a Kirkland sweater, bro? 
My oh, bro. Okay, bro. Okay, dude. Why is this nigga buying assless Versace drawers? Can, can you can you get Are like they a, for his Instagram? Yo, look at these comments. Everybody downvoting you are probably jealous. Everybody that's jealous downvoting of you. What, bro? Look. I don't want to see that, man. No, 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 no. You don't understand, bro. Everybody that's downvoting this is jealous. What the fuck happened to the sub mods? Please see. Downvoted for saying that? You got wow. downvoted for saying? No, 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 no. This guy got downvoted because he wouldn't. <laughs> he got downvoted because he's jealous. Now, all jokes aside, though. He got downvoted because he didn't eat glue when he was in, like, second grade. <laughs> all jokes aside, though. He got downvoted because he wasn't molested when he was a child. Right. <laughs> let me let me read his comments out. I just really want you to just envision. I, I like I I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry. Like, bro, we all know you're uncomfortable with yourself. Me. But not you can everybody take your else box is. and define you your own yourself. life. I'll live my own without your input. Okay, well then that's fine. But you don't have to lump me into your shit by posting pictures of your bare ass cheeks but on a fucking replica sub, like. Look, I'm, I'm not gonna put this part in, but this dude is a. You was looking for you was looking for niggas with their ass out on Reddit, wasn't you, nigga? Nah, 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 nah. no, 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 no. I was gonna make this video for a long time, but I delayed that shit. Now, women don't typically exist on the internet, but on the rare chance that they do, they somehow always seem to find themselves being the center of attention amongst unfathomable waves of sex-deprived young men. And this observation can certainly be made right here on Fashion Reps. Given the long-standing reputation of Reddit mods, this dilemma seems to intensify itself in an open, clear-cut manner. Girl gets a couple negative comments? Redditors assemble. That thread is going to get locked up faster than any minority under the 94 crime bill. I used to hate this place with uh, such a deep passion, but then one day I decided to revisit fashion reps and to my surprise, nothing had changed actually. But you know, this time around I ran into somebody who was posting what I can only describe as the most divine selection of outfits. This was a, this was a trendsetter. Okay in the fashion scene. See, his influence had a buzz that was just deeply felt, and he felt the need to conceal his identity by deleting his post shortly afterwards. Luckily, I managed to save one out of the many lost artifacts that he had left behind. He, he, was, he was wearing a hoodie that was flipped inside out alongside plaid boxers. I don't have any other photos of this man, but using my high-tech AI repository that recreates human memories, we can see that his other outfits could only be described as Sensational. Mira, honestamente, no, mm -hmm. este güey está bien culero, güey. No, no está viendo la maceta, este güey. Mira, mira el culón que tiene. Get out. Show me that shit again. The, 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 get out. 